Eu, 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 eu. It's so awesome right now. Hello, baby girls. Welcome to a new little video. I'm in my reading vlog era, so I used to post a lot of like little individual reading vlogs where I really just read one book and review it kind of in depth. So I wanted to start doing that again. So I recently posted my fourth wing reading vlog, but today, today is Magnolia Parks. And I am so excited to read this. My camera died on me, so we have to sit here because otherwise she can't be charged. Everyone's been talking about the series and the fifth book just came out. And I just need to know what this is about. And it's been compared to Gossip Girl, but then set in London and Gossip Girl. Or let's just get into the video. It is time. I checked, it has 430 pages, and it's kind of similar to my fourth wing video posted last week, where basically I got a little time crunch. Same with this, it's Wednesday night now. I need to have this done by Saturday night. Don't look at my messy floor. I decided to just sit on the floor because my camera died. It's literally 9.30 already. Do I have a math test tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Do I have to be at school at 8? Yeah, that's irrelevant. I'm probably just gonna read on my Kindle because it isn't Kindle Unlimited if you guys wanna read along. I am literally on chapter two, first 15 pages. I understand. Okay, so in the beginning I was a bit confused because I have to get back into the writing. Because the last couple of books I read, the writing was very simple. And it is still very simple writing. But, of course, there's some very nice quotes in there that aren't just like, he blah, 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 blah. Like, it's like, Whoa. I understand. And it is already so much like also Girl in the best way possible. And I'm eating this up. Like, at first I was like, I've, what if I'm going to get bored? Like, I feel like I could get bored. But no, no. There's already so much, like, confusion going on and kind of a bit of that toxic toxicity. Welcome to a new day. It's Friday. I didn't read anything yesterday. So we're in the same dilemma as I always am. I'm running out of time. I have to have Magnolia Parks done by tomorrow night because today's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday. But my boyfriend's coming over in half an hour because we finished our mock, exa mock exams. This week, um, actually only just yesterday, and this is like the first time in months he's had like the time to just like spend the day doing nothing, even though it's almost like evening. We spent like a lot of the day right together. So we're gonna have a movie night and with zero responsibilities whatsoever. So um, I won't have a lot of time to read today either. getting to page 35 so at least i've read 20 pages today who knows maybe i'll read a bit later when my boyfriend's here because sometimes he'll just go on tiktok and i'll read but so far i'm really enjoying it i just feel like since i'm still at like the beginning of the story and we're just getting to know everyone and they're kind of just explaining who's who and the plot and like all their history um i feel like it's not that interesting yet like i'm intrigued but i'm not like <laughs> because i've heard so many good things about this and i know for a fact that i'll probably really enjoy it so welcome it is a new sigh i actually did end up reading which is surprising because i genuinely didn't think i would so i did read on my kindle and i got to a page around 104 so far i am enjoying it and we're getting like still a lot of background information and that's just kind of like my thing because i don't know if that's just the way the entire book's going to be structured or just because it is 400 pages right so i don't know if that's just like the beginning so we kind of get the whole backstory i do root for them already but i just need a bit more like i just because everything's like constantly like going between present and past so one i get confused and two i just want to get more to like the now um but there was like just now like quite a bit that was for a lot in the present and it was definitely interesting but yeah i'm i'm enjoying it i just need the pace to pick up i use this app to track how quick I read and how long I think the book I had like have left in the book right and it said I had like five hours left but I only have 300 pages left and I usually read around 100 pages an hour so I was a bit confused and so I was like reading 40 pages an hour and I was like I 
no. So I am going to ditch the Kindle for a while and then just read the physical book because maybe I have some books where I read quicker on the Kindle and then quick and then other books I read quicker with the physical copy. <laughs> current stats have changed to 92 pages an hour and it says that I have five hours and one minute left. I go to page 154 and my app now says I have like three hours and 45 minutes left. I think I read the book, the physical book, quicker, but for visualization, this is how much I've read. We have moved on from the kind of constantly flashbacks and it's definitely more in the present, but we're still getting like more information throughout, but like it's not constantly only stories from the past. I don't know, we're enjoying it. I'm eating it up. Like I understand why people would be like, no, they're toxic. Like I cannot. It's the same with fucking Chuck and Blair in Gossip Girl. Like, would you forgive him? In real life no not at all but this is fine this is your rooting this is necessary I'm definitely like very into it like I I don't pick up my phone after every chapter I have been in my little chair reading I don't really have an update in like what I think there's definitely a lot going on something crazy did just happen it was like in the present as well so like something crazy happened and I'm a bit in shock I'm excited to see where this goes I am getting emotional. What the frick? It's literally this book started off so casual, like, okay, just a toxic relationship. It's so much more than that. So much more than that. There's so much shit going on. It's actually insane. I am almost halfway, like 20 pages until I'm halfway. I hit the halfway point and literally it's constantly more and more drama like the plot just gets worse and worse and worse but in a good way like it's just constantly more and more confusing i think i might switch my kindle because i really want to lay like this and just like that is just too heavy we'll see if that impacts my reading speed because now it says i have two and a half hours left okay so let's see if my kindle has any form of impact on that but i was scared that i wouldn't like it because i thought maybe it's too much like romance for me and not as in like I, th I don't like romance I just thought maybe it's just gonna be too much like nothing crazy is going on because I feel like sometimes with the romance it gets very bland so I was scared something like that was gonna happen but this is definitely not bland and I understand why people are obsessed it feels like I'm constantly like getting a headache so much is going on and like I constantly want to say, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Why did you do that? Literally, that's all that's going through my brain. Like, oh my God, what a stupid idea. Like, it's so chaotic, but in the best way possible. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm eating it up. I'm on 60%. and like, what the frick? I genuinely didn't expect to like it this much. And so far, it seems like I'm not reading slower on my Kindle. Also, there's like this whole other thing that's going on, like a third party, I could almost call it. He pisses me off. He pisses me off so much because I feel like all he is doing is thinking about himself. Because I feel like at this point he doesn't even care if she's upset. He's like, yeah, but you can like come to me, but only because in the end that'll benefit him more because he just wants her. I don't have words right now because things I can't explain it unless you've read it but oh oh my freaking god also like the whole like inside jokes they have like and like personal little things that only they understand I actually need a moment to breathe I need a moment to breathe <laughs> actually fucking insane i'm on 80 percent shit just keeps happening everything will be fine 
and then all of a sudden it's literally not. <laughs> now I feel like I don't get time to breathe. blanket so I crochet I've started crocheting about like I'd say a month ago and I decided for 2024 I want to make a mood blanket or I am I'm two days behind so but the next two days are just gray and gray is okay so close up I personally really like the colors I chose see the colors my boyfriend's really gonna be here in like 15 minutes so I'm just gonna read until then and then what I'll probably do is that I'll finish it tomorrow morning and then I can also charge my Kindle overnight because it's like about to die but let's read until he arrives, I think that's a good plan. We're still like in the middle of the entire situation and I only have like 80 pages left. So I'm just like confused like because I know it's a series but I don't know. Is it like it gets half resolved now and then throughout the series it gets resolved or like I'm just a bit confused on how this all works. Okay, I'm a bit behind. Ew, ew, ew. This man is actually... Oh my god, it makes me actually want to like start behaving like an animal. Ew! 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 Oh my god, literally, it's never fucking okay. It's never okay. my boyfriend left and it is time to finish magnolia parks i don't think i'm ready literally when i was reading before breakfast so much was fucking going on like my heart was literally being like as if someone was just grabbing it and twisting it just for fun not to the point where i would cry i rarely cry in books actually it is making me very emotional it's making me sad excited to read these last 31 pages i feel like there's because i think the series I've come to the conclusion, I think it's kind of where you read the first book and kind of throughout the series it just evolves to like the first book. I don't think it's going to give me closure. I hope it does. I don't necessarily think it will. It's so cute. expecting that shut the fuck up okay they're having a happy moment and like this man's like yeah but mm, he'll hurt you again just ignore okay just do the unhealthy thing and ignore okay this time i'm not here for the communication and the health and communication is key though irl totally in this world in this world Mm -mm. Everything I stand for in relationships, out of the window. I do not care as long as they, as long as they're together. Okay. It's so wholesome right now. This is not a good shock. This is a bad shock. Oh, babe, what? I literally have nine pages left. I have nine pages left. Okay, I could cry. I could, I could cry. I don't even want to read this. I'm gonna vomit. I'm actually gonna vomit. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, this is the only way I can actually, the best word to describe this is vile. My heart is going insane. Why would you write this? Why would you write this? My camera's about to die and I have Three pages left, don't die on me. My heart's actually beating out of my chest. Last page. I don't like this. I think if I was on my period right now, I would start bawling. My heart feels heavy, as if I, as if it's me. As if this happened to me. 
I need a hug. And my boyfriend can come back. Magnolia Parks. What a roller coaster. Okay, so throughout the book, I felt at some points that I didn't really know where this was going and like kind of why you were sticking around to reading it. Because, you know, like for example, if you have like a fantasy book, um, you know that you're kind of staying there because you probably know someone's going to like be in danger and there's like saving and stuff like that with thrillers and mysteries for mysteries is you want to find a mystery for thrillers it's fucking terrifying and again you probably know someone will be in danger and almost die or will die so you know with romance majority of the time if it's a simple quick cute romance it's just like you'll, you'll you're sticking around for the happy ending with this i had no clue what i was sticking around for especially towards the beginning because i was reading a bit slower i wasn't really into it it was a lot in the past then we kind of moved to the present and then i started rooting for them and then you kind of know why you're reading it because you're rooting for the couple and you want everything to work out fine i shouldn't have expected a happy ending i just shouldn't have expected happiness from this book since literally the entire time while i was reading this it was constant chaos drama nothing was ever okay i can't wait to get the other books of the series i'm currently in a book buying ban so i have to wait until may 13th i am still a bit conflicted about the rating and if you want like irl in real time updates you can obviously follow me on goodreads but it's definitely around the high four i need processing and help and therapy but so need, so do these people so thank you so much for watching if you're still watching comment this little emoji here and i'll see you when i see you bye